Hi everyone, my name is Jermaine, and today I'm going to show you how to take a GNS3 router and configure it into a frame relay switch. I'm currently studying for my CCNA, and sometimes when I do the frame relay within the GNS3 default one, for some reason it gives me false positive results, so I don't know if everybody, some people probably have this issue, so I said I'd, I'll just make a video how to configure it, so ease the pain of using that bullshit. So let's start with router 4 which is going to be the frame relay switch. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. So you're going to do this command, which is going to be config T for global configuration mode. You're going to do a frame relay. You're going to switch. Or switch in, should I say. You're going to go to the interfaces, which is going to start from 0 slash 0. You're going to know IP, add. And we're going to do frame relay. Encapsulation. Encapsulation, frame relay, and we're going to do the clock rate, 64,000, that's what I use, you can use whatever you desire, and let's do this, frame relay, this command, and we're going to specify that is, we're going to use the DPE, because we're going to represent in the ISP. And we're going to point Delsius to, the, Delsius to the interface. So let's do this. So we're going to do frame relay route, which is no 2. So we point from 102 to 201 destination. So we're going to do an interface 00 slash uh, 1 with a Delsius number of 201. And we do an up arrow. I said 103, going to zero, 2, 0 slash 2, with a Delsi number of 301. And we do another shutdown. And that's it for 0 slash 0. So let's go into 0 slash 1. No IP add, encapsulation frame relay and frame relay uh, DCE clock rates Specify the Delsius so interfaces, so we're going to do frame relay route. What and what? So, what interface for now? So, frame relay route 201 going into 0 slash 0 interface, which is 102. No shot. We go to zero slash two interface. No IP add. Encapsulation frame relay. specify the Delsi for the interface. So we're already in 0 slash 2, which is Delsi 301. So we say same issue where we say frame relay route 301. Specify the interface where it's only go to 0 slash 0, or Delsi number where it's destined to, which is 103. And we do no shot. Alright, so that's that. 
so we're fresh configuring your frame relay so we can do a show show frame relay route as you can see 0 0 slash 0 has a DLC number of 102 with an outbound which is router 2 of 201 and 103 with an outbound of, of 301 and the same thing goes down where it's go backwards where it says 201 go to 102 and 301 go to 103 so let's configure router let's configure all these routers to see if everything works as just as uh, how we planned it so let's go let's start from router 1 so router 1 interface is up so just gonna do a simple 192 address slash 24 so interface 0 0 slash 0 IP add so 168.1.1 Let's take a look at router one. Since this is going to be the hub, let's check the status. Let's check the status. So we do issue the command of show frame relay PVC, and you see where we have PVC status, which is active. Which is good. And DLC 103 PVC status is active, so that's also good. So let's try to ping. Let's try to ping router two. successful pings and we could do a quick EAGRP routing protocols on this to see since we have this all configured so we do the router EIGRP autonomous system one Let's put it in a let's put a loop back address in router two. So let's do a two that two that two that two. Why you bullshitting me, man? IP add 
two that two that two that two two five five that zero 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 and let's put this in a routed protocol let's let's point egrp to this so let's go back to router one So frame relay, let's do map. As you can see, we have map to 102, map to 103. Let's do a show IP EGRP neighbor. Okay, and show IP route. So we got a two. Uh, so let's ping that two address. Two that two that two that two. Successful. Let's ping it from router three. So let's show IP route. Oh. So the two address is not coming up in the routing table on router three. So I guess that split arising, this is a f in effect, so let's go back to router 1, go to 0, 0, slash 0, it says no IP, split horizon, autonomous EGRP, autonomous system 1, and goes down and goes up. Let's go back to router three and show IP route. So now we see the two network. So let's try to ping the two network. why I don't like multipoint because it give a lot of issues so we probably got to do a, a mapping for, for router 2 and router 3 so let's go on the router 3 interface 0 slash 0 frame relay map protocol which is IP the destination address which is 1.168.1.2 LC number which is 301 okay do the same thing 0 0 slash 0 frame relay map protocol the address which is 1 that 3 the LC number which is 201 and then we should have successful pings. 192.168.1.2. So now we have successful pings from router 3 to router 3, router 2 to router 3, and we could also ping the 2 network. So that's the issue we, where if you use multi point, you will have these issues sometimes. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next, till next time.